my son's going to come up and play a couple for you. I hope he'll be a bit. A bit, a bit, a bit. Should have been stuttering then, shouldn't I? I believe he'll be a blessing to you. He just started, just started playing the gospel music not too many months ago. He was playing all the kind of music that I didn't want him playing. And I, to me, this is this is answered prayers. I mean, the Lord touched his heart. He's he's got a new new love for gospel music, and I I, I believe he'll be a blessing to you. Well, as you heard him say, I used to. Uh I used to be into all the wrong kinds of music, all the kinds I shouldn't have been listening to in the first place, but I, I did. Unfortunately, I, I can't turn back the, the hands of time and, and fix it. But uh, now that I look back, I don't think I would have, because it's, it's really amazing how God works when you just turn it over to Him. He, he took something that I'd have never thought He'd have, he'd have used and made it to something of good use for him. When I started out, the first stuff I listened to was, I, I went through it all. I went through rap, cunt, I had a small country phase, that was the smallest. <laughs> and I went through all, all the worst kinds of music you can think of. The one that stuck with me for the longest, that was the first five years of my guitar playing, was uh, heavy metal. and. Uh, Metallica was probably the worst of all of them, and I dare evil, evil, evil. But uh, they took five years of my life, of my playing life, and that's what all my playing was built on, was the fast metal speed, all the stuff you couldn't even hear what I was doing to begin with. But uh, there was a time through prayer, <laughs> through many people's prayers, that uh, he took that, and I, Dad even remembers, I told him one time, I said, he did not give me this for nothing. It, he, I, I knew what I was doing was, was not for any good. I didn't do anything for any good. It wasn't doing anybody any good but me because I, I was the only one that could hear what I was doing anyway. And I prayed that he would take, just take the desire away because I, I didn't know. I, I remember my father's testimony about him and alcohol. He just... There's one day I remember when I was a little kid, I looked in the refrigerator and I couldn't get past the beers to get a Coke. And it, I don't know if it was the next day or not, but there was one day I opened that fridge and they were all gone. There wasn't one there. It was an empty refrigerator. But, uh, he did about the same thing with me, just in a different way. I, I, I could play the fast, as fast as you wanted me to, as many notes as anything you could find I could play just about. But I asked him to take that desire away from me and give me something else. And he did, he did one even better. He didn't take away the desire. If he'd have took it away, he'd have replaced it with something I didn't know. But he didn't take away the desire. He gave me a greater desire. Amen. To play something that was for a much better cause. Amen. And he... He's just amazing the way he works. And I was thinking just a minute ago is why I asked Kent what the man's name was, being saved. It's, it's not something that, that you're going to regret. It's something you'll remember forever because it, I remember when I was saved, I was seven years old, and I did, nobody thinks that getting saved at that young, do you think he can't do it? But I, I, I thought about this, I can't remember his name, I, I, sorry, I can't remember the name of the man that did it, but there was a man that was supposed to go to the Jordan River. He, he, was, he had a body of leprosy, and he went to the Jordan River, and they told him, I forget what man of God it was that told him to do it, but he said, if you go down in that river seven times, you'll be cleansed. <laughs> and, and he went down the first time, came up, nothing, you know, it, a little faith. Nobody would have faith. I don't think I'd even had that much faith. I mean, it's just like me now. I couldn't have done it. He went down the second time, nothing. Third, fourth, fifth. The sixth time he went down, I think he was just about fed up. I don't even think he was even, he even believed there was a God at that. I don't think he even believed he was there anymore. But he said, just go down one more time. And, uh, you know, it, it says that he went down and he came up shouting. Lord, I see a change. I don't think he, he even came up and looked at his hands. I don't even think he had to come up before he knew he was cleansed. I think when he went down that seventh time, before he ever came up, he knew God changed him. He came up shouting, Lord, I see a change. But uh, 
I guess that was a little off of the subject of what I was going to play. <laughs> but I felt led to say that.